YouTube, it's uh, me, the Massive Manor, trying to figure out my wipers. So okay, I'm going to get right into it. I can't find my, my little paper that has the four, the four uh, questions, or the five questions, so I'm just going to go off what I remember. Um, how has this week been, diet-wise? Oh no, <coughs> how has Lipo 6 Unlimited affected me? <coughs> be honest with you, I was kind of sick this week, but that didn't stop me from going to the gym or anything. Um, I ate pretty well. I just had to get back on uh, track. You know, the fasting really threw me off. Um, unlimited wise, I guess uh, I'm sure it would have been a lot worse if it wasn't for the unlimited, because what happened basically was, um, you know, everybody knows I tried intermittent fasting, which ended up turning into just straight fasting. Um, and then when I started to eat normal, I packed on the pounds. The last day I did fasting was Sunday morning. I weighed myself, I weighed 338. By Sunday night, when I had just a regular full course meal and stuff like that, or three full course meals, basically when I had the diet, the deadline diet, um, minus like a thousand calories, I put on, geez, like seven pounds in one day. Which I know wasn't true weight. I know some of it was water weight and stuff like that. But that's what happened. Um, so basically when your body starves itself, it will go into starvation mode. You know, I guess I'm just one of those people who has to know for certain, you know, by my by my own experiences. That said, um, I was like, okay, well, I really got to bust my ass this week. So the lipo 6 kind of helped because I got a feeling that it would have been a lot worse if it wasn't for the lipo 6. Because it wasn't so much the appetite control, but more like the, uh, whatever it does to your metabolism kind of thing, you know? That said, how was my overline diet? Really, my diet was right on this week. I woke up and had some eggs, um, maybe a protein shake. Then at lunch, I had a can of tuna fish with a little bit of mayo. Uh, oh, it was almonds. I had almonds with... Um, I had almonds with my uh, breakfast. But no other day anyway, chicken at night, my diet was on point. It still is on point. But when, you, you know, when you're coming off of a starvation, I believe the body thinks everything is just going to be stored, you know? Which is okay, at least, at least I'm not in that mode anymore. So yeah, so basically, um, at the gym, uh, I guess I could have done more on Thursday and Friday. But Monday through Wednesday, or Sunday through Wednesday, I really got it in. You know, you're talking about five different times I did some kind of exercise. Now, keep in mind, I don't have a job at, at I don't have a job at present. At present, uh, but you know, most people's jobs equivalent to two of my workouts. You know, not every single workout I do is heavy weight lifting or suicide cardio, where you just go until you drop. You know. Um, so yeah, my workouts have been pretty good. My knees hurt a real lot, probably from the medicine ball tosses. Uh, so I guess this upcoming week, my goal is to get to right to 330. That would leave me with four weeks to get down to 300, which I think I could do, maybe a little under 330. But uh, from the grand view, I'm not, I'm not too, too far off from my original goals or from some of my goals. So yeah, so overall... You know, pretty much a learning week. Uh, you know, I, I got into a nice routine weightlifting. You know, I, I do a body part almost once a week. The only ones I do twice a week, I do legs on Monday, then I do them again on Friday. I do chest on Tuesday, and I do it again on Saturday. The rest of them I just do once. So, all right, guys, hopefully everything went good with everybody else. Um, and, uh, you know... <laughs> That's it. Stay buff, New England. Ergo the world.